Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, glad you stop in and hit the like button and subscribe if you like. And if not, that's okay too. You can just come visit whenever you want. Okay. Um, Jeff uh, Bezel, or Basil, I guess is how you pronounce it, uh, is coming on pretty strong. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, let's see what this says here. The world is in the midst of a recession. Well, we all know that. And soon a depression will follow. Adding to this is the rising cost of fuel and everyday products, which Biden is being referred to as a Biden dark winter. Now, Jeff Bezos is warning people about the impending doom and misery. And that don't sound good, does it? Well, we've all been warned over and over. According to the Newsmax, Bezos warned Americans should avoid taking risk in ordering to avoid a recession in 2023. In an interview with the CNN Business, Bezo advised consumers to avoid buying big ticket items, such as cars and televisions. Biden's poor leadership is causing the world to experience a shortage that will affect every aspect of our lives, and I don't doubt it, and I bet you don't either. The diesel stockpiles in the U.S. have dropped to their lowest point in over 70 years, which is alarming the energy providers and the Biden administration. The American Federation of Labor has requested the Departments of Agriculture, Energy, and Transportation to investigate if the government was involved in the issue. You know, none of this is coming out uh, daily and nightly over the newscast. Um... Uh, that's very good for us and we have to pay attention but what can we do i read another article today before i get back to this one they're urging everybody to stockpile groceries buy anything any that you can by the case or whatever but you better hurry before that railroad goes on strike that railroad if they go and continue this and biden come on do you remember this when Biden come on and said, oh, it's been settled. They've reached an agreement. There'll be no railroad strike. He lied. He lied. According to Reed Rubinstein, the AFL, CIO's Director of Oversight, Biden's policies have caused the U.S. to become a net importer of oil. In just two years, this country has become dependent on foreign sources of energy. The president has blamed the energy companies for not investing enough in the refining industry. He also threatened to tax their profits on October 31st. The American Petroleum Institute and other industry groups claimed that this would lead to higher prices and discouragement investment. According to Rubenstein, the AFL-CIO will release findings of its investigation to the public so that the public can see how the government knew about the policies that led to these crises. Congress could also investigate the matter. It feels like America is in a third world country due to the various factors that have affected the country such as the diesel shortages, the rising price of gas, and the food shortages. Back in the past, it was believed that the country would run out of diesel fuel. The warnings from Bezo is just more reason for concern. There are just some of the factors that have caused the crisis and the reason why it is due to the pol uh, policies of Joe Biden. Excuse me. These things would not have happened under Trump. No, they would not have. In a message to the American people, Biden said that the country is going to experience a dark winter. Thank you, Biden. He urged the people to prepare for the worst. And what's he doing? Sitting back laughing at us? Counting his money? Being in a nice, warm, cozy house? Big, beautiful Christmas tree, presents galore for everyone in the family and friends. I bet they had a great Thanksgiving. Beautiful, 
turkey, all the trimmings, all the family, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. They were all laughing and having a good time. And what was most of us poor people doing? We always have something to be thankful for. But when you're living out in the cold, and I'm not, thank God, not yet. But I read somewhere, get ready because I might be. That's how strong this these news reports are getting over and over and over. You can go to any news channel you want to go to. And you're going to hear the same thing. It's something to pay attention to. You know, it's, it's just terrible. But people lost their cars. They lost their homes. And thank God, maybe they got to move in <clears throat> with families, with their families, their mother, their father, their brother, their sister, whatever. Especially if they got little ones running around or expecting a new baby on the way. Does Biden care? Does Congress even care? Where's the $2,000 we were offered? No, offered. Promised. Excuse me. Promised. Mr. Biden. That could at least put shelter over some families and get them on their feet, maybe to get gas in their car if they still have a car to go look for some work, even if it's washing dishes in a restaurant. You know? People come down on these people that don't work. But there's reasons why they don't work unless they just are a couch potato. Sit on their little couches and play their little Nintendo games and blah, blah. No, well, I ain't going to worry about nothing. You know, yes, there are some like that. But then there isn't. There's some good, strong-minded family men out there that's got a wife and children and babies on the way. They need a job. They need good wages, high wages, without being taxed to death. Is this ever going to happen again? Please leave me a comment. I, I'd like to know what you think. Do you think negatively? Are you keeping your head held high and just watch the birds fly by and think, oh, isn't that a beautiful, beautiful bird and things are going to be okay. We just got to sit back and relax. Please don't. It has gone on too far, too long. Or is that too long, too far? Thanks to Congress, Pelosi, Biden. They're all for each other, but to hell with the people that pay them. That give them their high tax dollars. So they can squander it. Any way, any way, anywhere they want to. Isn't that right? Am I wrong? Let me know. I'll be back.